Hey guys, it's me, Program Keeper 17 and today we're going to be doing another Math League contest paper. So, we're going to be doing 2006 to 2007, 6th grade, and we're going to be doing questions 21 to 25. So, our first two questions are going to be questions that I gave out in the last video and you guys should try out. So, let's go to the first one. On a calendar, I put a grain of sand on May 1st, then two grains of sand on May 2nd, then day then four grains of sand on May 3rd. What day was it when I put my 500th grain? So we can just write out an equation. We can just do two plus four and then eight, then 16, then 32, then 64. And we keep on doing this until after we add them up, we'll get around 500. So then we add 256 and we will get 510. And so, cause we get 510 and that will be on our ninth, on May 9th, our answer will be a, May 9th. Our next question is divide the remainder in 888 divided by 77 by 6, then the new remainder will be. So now what we would see is 888 divided by 7 is 11 remainder 41 and 41 divided by six is five. So 888 divided by 77 will get you 11 remainder 41. And then what we have to do next is we have to divide 41 by six and we will get, we will get six remainder five and so our new remainder will be five which is d okay now the next question the total numbers of dimes and pennies can be so a ten dollars and one cent eleven dollars eleven dollars and eleven cents or eleven dollars and twelve cents so we have, to have the same amount of pennies and dimes so if we notice we can add 101 dimes and, and 101 cents. And that will get you, so 101 dimes, and dimes are 10 cents each, plus 101 pennies. That will get you eleven dollars and eleven cents but if we notice if we add that's that was answer for c so c can't be the answer if you look at d d is eleven dollars and twelve cents and if we add one more cent to 101 dimes and 101 pennies it'll be 101 dimes and 102 pennies and that can't work so our answer would be d our next question is a hundred and what 100,001 to the power of 2 exceeds 100,000 100, to the power of 2. And we have to figure out how much it exceeds it by. So another way of writing this equation is like this. And then we want it to, we want to minus that by... this and this is just the numbers after we multiply itself by another time because of the powers of two and then that would equal and the answer would be 200,000 so our answer will be 
A. Our last question is, I wrote two numbers whose sum is less than their product. What is the smallest possible whole number I wrote? So we know this, that one plus a number will be greater than one times a number. Because one times a number will be the same. And if you add one more to a number, it'll be different. So we have to figure out the smallest one. So look at, let's look at one. One plus one is two. And its sum is actually greater because one times one is just one. Let's try two. So two plus one is three. And so two plus one equals three. Cause that's the sum. And two times one equals two. And you can see the sum is greater than the multiplication. So what we can so the answer will be C because it's asking for the least the smallest number. Three works too, but it's too smaller than three. So our answer will be C two. Now I want you guys to try both of these questions and put them in your answers in the comments below. A circular pool that is two my two meters wide has a circumference of a, 3.14 meters, B, 2 times 3.14 meters, C, 4 times 3.14 meters, and D, 5 times 3.14 meters. And the next question is, the square root of, the square root of 40 times 90 is, and then A, 36, B, 50, C, 60, and D, 120. So you guys put these answers if you can figure out the answers in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.